Hey, my name is Kathy Roberts. I am the Tidy Tutor and I am moving. And so I thought I would do a video showing how I pack dishes. But another thing too is that I'd like to talk about is what you choose to take with you and how exciting it is if you are moving to really only take with you the things that you love and need and use. And on top of that, what you could do is this. Even if you're not moving, live like you are. Like take this time right now that you're watching this video, even if you're not moving, to say, let me go through my house and do it in a moving mindset. I have my Room by Room um, Facebook page that you can sign up for right below this video. And you can click on that and ask to get in and you'll be in this group with other people just like you who want to get organized and need help and need direction and all of that. And we can work one room at a time. This will work if you're moving. It will work if you're staying put. But if you think moving, then you're going to think a little bit more carefully about when you go through your stuff, what you want and what you don't want. Now, I have dishes that I had my everyday dishes, but you know, I live with a ton of people. I'm not moving with a ton of people, but I live with a ton of people, you know, my kids and whatnot, and not any whatnot, just my kids. And um, you know, there's lots missing. I think I might have two bowls left and they don't even go with that anymore. I have no glasses left, so I'm going to have to buy myself some glasses when I get there, but whatever. Um, and so I decided, well, I'm not going to take those dishes with me, you know, I'll recycle them. So anyway, I had a china closet that I'm not taking with me, and I had china in there. And I had every piece of it, so I thought, hmm, why don't I take my china as my everyday dishes? If it breaks, one breaks, it breaks. You know, we're not supposed to have things and care so much about them that we won't use them because something might happen to them. Honestly. Everything has a shelf life. People have a shelf life and things have a shelf life. Unfortunately, we don't live forever and we should be okay that our stuff doesn't either. So I'm taking my china and it is going to be my everyday dishes. Now this is a teacup, which is kind of like, oh my gosh, like really it's so small. But I'll tell you what, it really is nice to have a cup of tea in a really very delicate piece of china. It's something like a little treat that you could do for yourself. So I'm happy about this. Now I'm going to take all of them because it's a service for eight and I have the space and I don't care. Now you know we all depend, it all depends on how you live because if you live that if you have eight plates you're going to use eight plates and you know, eight glasses, eight everything until the sink is filled you might want to just have what you need. You know, put everything aside and only have, if it's two of you, two plates, two glasses, two spoons, two forks. This works for a lot of people. But for me, since I don't do that kind of thing anymore, I'm going to take them all. This way, if my brothers and sisters come over, I've got, you know, what I need. All right, now, what I do is I pack using towels and things. Instead of getting packing material that not only costs money and, you know, clutters up the world after you have to get rid of it, but it also takes up space in the box. That's valuable real estate for, you know, moving. And since I'm going to be moving my towels, I might as well use them as packing material. So this is a nice squishy towel. So I'm going to take this and put it down. It's not exactly flat, but we don't care. And I'm going to take a dish. And I'm going to put it down and I'm going to fold this over it. Take another dish, put it down, and fold that over it. See how see it's completely covered. Take this dish, put it down, and take the towel and fold it over it. So now I have two dishes, one towel, or is it three? One, three dishes, one towel, and I'm still going. See? I'll just keep going until all my dishes are stacked with this towel. We'll see how we do. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is how it is. It's, you know, cool. I'll put it in the box. Do, 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 do. Now, the boxes that I like to use are produce boxes. And the reason that I like to use produce boxes is because they have a handle. See? 
They have another box that goes right on top of this. I'll show you in a minute about what that looks like. And it's really, really sturdy. And then after you get them home, you can actually use them again for storage if you have anything that you need to be stored. It's, they're really great boxes. I love them. Now, what do we do with these smaller things, right? Like how do we pack these things? I'm not going to use a great big towel for these. What I do is I get the season of clothes that is not this season, and I take some pieces of it. Right now, it is the winter time when I'm packing, so I took some summer things out of my summer wear, and I'm going to use those. Like, here is, here's a pajama, okay? Here is a nice summer kind of pajama, and so I'll use this, and I'll just put it down and take a saucer, fold it over, take another saucer, fold it over. See, just exactly like I did the big dishes, only I'll do the smaller ones like this. So let me finish this up and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is how these look, right, like this. So I'll put these on top of my dishes that had, you know, the big towel wrapped around it. And so I'll just keep going. Um, I have, here's another pajama that I have. And so I'll use this maybe for the cups. Let's see how we can get the cups done. I'll just stick it in there like this. Take another cup, stick it in there. Wrap it around, stick it in. Another cup, around, stick it in. Another cup. Let's see, is this working out all right? think so. Looks pretty good. All right. One more. No, that's it. That's going to be it. Okay, so look. There's my cups around my pajama, right? Now, something that I do is I, I have a binder. Now, if you're part of my course, Tidy Tutor University, then you definitely have a binder. And if you're not, then it's really important that you get yourself a three-ring binder and put some dividers in it, right? I can't teach you everything that has to do about the binder, but I can say that it really will help you to have a binder where if you have to write anything down, that's where it gets written. So that you can like say, oh no, I know I wrote that down somewhere and not have to run around looking for the envelope that you wrote it down on, right? Like, oh, I know I wrote it on the envelope or I wrote it on the back of a, of a bag. Where's that bag? Did I throw it out? Like that's craziness, right? And it's what we do. We waste so much time. So if you have a binder, you'll have a, sp a space there to write down. If there's anything you say, oh, I gotta write that down, then write it in there. And then you'll always know where to look. And another thing is, is if you have a project, just like I have right now, like I'm moving, right? So I have a section in my binder for moving. And so everything that comes to my mind, I just write it down in there. This way I don't get overwhelmed. I don't get like, like think about all of the stuff that I have to do. As soon as I think of it, I just write it down and I have a section in my binder for moving. And that will change after I get done moving, then it'll become another section for something that I might have going on, like, you know, maybe planning a party. My daughter's having a baby, I'll be planning a baby shower, so that will be in there too. Another thing I'll have my binder for is to keep track of what I've got in boxes. Like this, of course, will say kitchen on it, but I'll have a coordinating, co coordinating, a coordinating piece of paper in my binder that has kitchen one. I'll label this kitchen one, and then on the paper I'll have what's in there. There's cups, there's saucers, there's um, the big dishes, I have my white nightgown, my blue nightgown, and a green towel in there. And I'll have that written in there too, so that I won't be like, oh wait, where did I pack that? You see what I mean? It really works beautifully, and it makes life so manageable. Let's just keep going with what I've got going on here pair of pajama bottoms. So I'll just put that on, fold it over, put another one on, dish on, fold it over, put this dish on. You know what I could do? I could put it inside of the leg because this one won't quite fold over. And so that will go right there, still cushioned enough. And there, so here's this. So I'll put that in there. And what I'll do also is, where's my pen? 
I'll write down in my binder what it is that I've got in this box right now before I forget. Now this is a pillow sham and it's you know kind of cushy you know it actually almost looks like packing material so this is perfect it's perfect for the sandwich plates so I will take the sandwich plates put it down fold this over it's perfect so another sandwich plate put it down fold this over like that put another sandwich plate in between and here you go. We are cooking with gas. Fold it over, put one down, and then I can begin the next set. There. Pretty good, right? Now, pajamas that are like thin, like this is a polyester and it's, you know, thin. So this actually works really well because it doesn't take up a heck of a lot of space, you know, like the towel did, but it does what it, you need it to do to, you know, stop anything from getting clinked together where things break. So um, if you have anything that's really kind of lightweight, but will supply what it is that you need, bada bing, bada boom, done. Okay, so I have all of my dishes in here with the packing materials that I'd have to pack anyway. And I just checked it and it's not too heavy. So I have some serving pieces. So I'm going to put them in there because there's more room. And I'll continue on with, you know, things that I have. This is something that I sleep in for the summer. So I'll take this, which I'm, this is like something that I, I use like for mashed potatoes, you know, it's kind of nice to have um, for on the table, I don't know, whatever. So there, so I'll wrap this. Now this is kind of thin and it will work really well to get the rest of this finished up. It's a dust ruffle, an old time dust ruffle, handmade, love it. And so this will, is going to go on my bed. So it's perfect, I have to move it anyway. So I will fold this over on top of here. This is a, serve, this is a serving tray. And the thing that I keep my um, baked potato, mashed potatoes in. Now these are two dishes that I kind of was wondering, should I take them, shouldn't I take them? They were always in my china closet and when I was having a party, I would take them out and put things on them, you know, sometimes it would be a bowl on it just to make it look pretty. Um, other times it would be something that I'd put something on like maybe um, mozzarella and tomatoes with some basil, you know, that kind of thing. So I think I'll take them. Um, and so I'll take this and I'll put it underneath the platter and wrap that up. And I don't know, here I'm going to take this one and put it underneath. There we go. And it, everything is covered. Everything is covered up. So I'm going to take this out and put this in. Nice. What do you think? Nice. All right. Put that back in there. Now, if I could fit this in there, I'll be so happy because then the entire box is filled with my dishes and the serving pieces for it. So I have one pajama top right here and I'll do this do, 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 do. and I think I need another pajama top on it so let's do this all right and I'll stick that right here Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Look at that, huh? Okay, so everything that is in the box is now written down in my binder. I wrote kitchen one, because that's what I'm gonna label the box as, kitchen one. All of my dishes are in here, the serving pieces, everything that I use to pack is written there too, but this is what I did. 
I wrote down dust ruffle really big with explanation points next to it because I know that I can't set my bed up without this because it goes underneath the box spring, then the box spring, then the mattress. So if I want to set my bed up, which is the first thing you should do, your bedroom, then I'm going to be like, I can't until I find that because I'm not going to want to take the bed apart to do it. It just will never happen. So this way, when I go to see, well, which box is my dust ruffle in, then all I have to do is page through and it'll jump out at me. Everything that's going to be really important that I'm using as packing material or something that isn't obvious what box it's in, I'm going to do just like that. Write it really big, explanation points so that I know where it is to look at it like in a bam, okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do is put the top on the box and this is what I was talking about before to let you know that here is the way the box is. Now let me put this on. This is the lid and see how nice? There. Now you have handles and you can pick it up. It's not very heavy. Look, I can lift it like this. Now, you, I have a Sharpie here, so I'm gonna write on the box right now, kitchen, and the number one, so that I know that when I look at here, I know exactly what's in this box, number one. You wanna make sure that you mark the box on every area, every side. This way, if it's pushed against the wall, or if something's stacked on top of it, you'll know what it is. You won't have to maneuver it or move it around so that you could read what it says. Every area will be marked and you'll know what box is what just by looking at it in one glance. You also want to make sure that you mark fragile on it really big, all right, on every side too, that people are aware, whoever it is that's moving your stuff, that this box is fragile. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate that you checked out my video. If you want to know more about getting organized and loving yourself as you go, then please go to my website, thetidytutor.com. Put in your name and email when you get there and you will be able to get 10 tips one tip a day that will absolutely rock your world. There's also a place on my website where you can get my book absolutely free. You just scroll down, see where it is on my site. It's very obvious. Click on it, get my book, download it. You will love it. I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Thanks so much for watching.